Do you struggle every time you have a short ball and you are not able to put away? Maybe you hit it, you come in, and everything you see is like balls passing by you, people hitting lobs over you, and you are not able to win those kind of points? Don't worry about it. We have the solution for you on today's video. I'm gonna give you the drills that you gotta practice and you gotta do in order for you to improve that part of the game, putting short balls away and be able to win more matches by winning more points. So I have many students that we practice working on short balls, we practice hitting volleys. I tell them all the time, every time after you hit a short ball, make sure you come in, finish the point at the net. Then they come back to me and they are like, yeah, I've been putting that in practice and everything I saw is like, oh, they were passing me everywhere. They were hitting lobs, they were doing this and that. I was not able to win points. So what did they do? They were coming back to the old habit of hitting the ball and then running back at the baseline. Now, I'll tell you this. If you play against a good player and you don't use short balls to finish up the point, you are not able to win matches. You are not going to be able to take your game to the next level. So it's very important for you to practice that part of your game. So what do you have to do in order for you to be able to hit that short ball and then come in and not letting the other one to pass you everywhere? You got to make them move and put them out of balance. So the biggest mistake that I see most people do with those short balls is they hit the ball either soft or too close to the other ones. So what happens? Yeah, they come in, but once they come in, the other one has a very short ball and they have all kind of angles to make you move and to pass you. Okay, if you don't make them move, they can either hit cross court, they can hit down the line, they can go with a lob. They have all the options. But now, what could happen if instead of making them hit a very easy ball, you make them hit on the run and you are at the net at the right position covering most possible angles for them to pass you. I'm going to tell you the answer. You are going to start winning way more matches. And that's exactly what we're going to tell you in this video. So first of all, how are we going to know if we're going to make, if we're making the move enough in order for you to come in and hit an easy volley? So what I did is I put a line of tubes on both sides. So in order for us to know if we're making the move or we are not, we're going to need to make sure that we are placing the ball properly. So what I'm going to force you to do on the first drill is to make the ball between the line of tubes and the double sally. Okay, so what I'm giving you is I'm giving you a specific spot for you to hit the approach. And if we are able to hit that ball there with certain kind of speed, we're going to make sure that we're getting into a good position when we're at the net. That's the first step. Now, second most important step that what you're going to need to do in order to be in the right position is you need to know where to cover at the net. So. How do we cover at the net? You're going to need to follow the ball. So let's say I'm here and I need to hit a forehand cross court approach. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the ball and I'm going to move on this direction. So once I come at the net, I'm going to move this way. Okay? Same if we go down the line. Let's say I'm here. I hit an approach shot down the line with my forehand. I'm going to come in and I'm going to be a little bit more on this direction at the net. So the more you open the court on one direction, the more you're going to follow the ball on that direction. And another very important thing is move quick between the point where you're hitting the approach and the point where you're hitting the volley. If you hit the approach and you do like most amateurs do, it's like you look at the ball and you're not, mo and you're not moving forward, you're going to end up hitting the first volley here. What happens? It's so hard to put volleys away when you are very close to a service line. Now, in the same situation, if we move a little quicker and we're able to be up here, from here it's going to be much easier to put the ball away. So, very important, work on the speed between the short ball and the first ball either, okay? So, now, first thing that we're going to do, we're going to hit. I'm going to have Sergio on the other side of the court, he's going to be feeding me balls. He's going to feed me a forehand approach. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go cross court, I'm going to keep following the ball, and after that, I'm going to hit a backhand cross court volley. Now, very important, the volley, keep it simple. If your approach is good and you're making the other one move, the only thing you need to do with the volley is place it short and cross court. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So he's going to feed me short balls to my forehand. I'm going to be aggressive, hit the forehand cross court approach. I'm going to come in quick and drop the ball cross court with my backhand volley.
Very important also, guys, don't forget. Look at the ball when you are hitting the volley. Don't be like me. Right there. We're going to one more. I'm going to drop the short ball, the volley a little bit more now. Right there. So if you are able to hit that kind of approach and that volley, you're going to be able, you're going to see that it's going to be much easier for you to end up winning points when you have a short ball. So, so we're going to move to a second pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my forehand down the line now, and then I'm going to come in and hit a backhand down the line volley. So he's going to feed me a ball short to my forehand, same, hit down the line, come in quick, drop that backhand down the line volley. Let's see if I can make the approach, huh? One more time here. So now, if you got these two drills, we're going to combine a little bit both of them. So, he's going to keep giving me short balls on the forehand side, but now I can go either cross court or down the line with my approach. After I do that, I'm going to come in following the ball. He's going to give me a volley wherever he wants. And I'm going to need to make sure that I hit the first volley short to the opposite side. So now I'm making you think a little bit more. Instead of just hitting and knowing where the balls are going to go, you got to pick where do you want to hit the approach. He's going to try to pass me. And I'm going to make that first volley in one of the two spots. Always the opposite side. One more time here. Very good. So as you can see, I'm hitting the approach to one spot. First ball is short to the opposite side. So next thing, we're going to move to a backhand. What am I going to do with the backhand? I'm going to do a backhand cross curve approach. I'm going to move in and hit a short forehand cross curve volley. Same concept, same concept with the backhand. <laughs> Yeah. We're taking the ball early here on the backhand. Yeah. And one more time. Maybe opening the court a little more on this backhand approach. Right there. And dropping it right there. Very good. So we're going to go now with the same thing, but we're going to approach with the backhand on the line. Then we're going to drop a back, a forehand on the line volley. Yeah. Oh, so late. Yeah. 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 One more time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. He's gonna feed the ball to my backhand. I'm gonna approach either cross court down the line. I'm gonna come in following the ball. He's gonna feed me the ball either to a forehand or backhand volley. And I'm gonna need to drop it to the short to the opposite side. So again, you gotta think where you're approaching and hit the volley to the opposite side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was close. Yeah. Yeah, one more. That's a winner with that approach. I don't need the volley. Yeah. 
I don't need the volley on that one either because I missed it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay, guys, if you were able to master all those drills, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix everything up. He's gonna feed me a short ball either to a forehand or my backhand. I'm gonna come in following the ball. He's gonna, be the, he's gonna feed the ball either to my forehand or my backhand volley. And I need to make sure that I drop the volley short to the opposite side. So I have no idea where the balls are gonna go now. Uh, Yeah. Right there. Keep the volley simple, guys. Don't try to do anything extra. Yeah. Yeah. And one more time. I'm gonna crush this one. Yeah. I almost broke the net. Go, one more. Can I make it? Oh, yeah. Breaking the net, man. Gonna make it this time. Oh, yeah. Hey. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you in the next video. What a start. Shanking the ball. Okay. Like, <laughs> was too quick. <laughs> two out of two, guys. <laughs>